hey, you've seen those dance moves. Hey, I'm telling you, in a, in a, in a few in a few years down the line, uh, we'll be looking at our fractured <laughs> bones as we try to make those moves because new moves are coming in day in day out. Hey, the rocker, we've seen there harmonize, and uh, of course the beautiful lady from his record label. So Karibu Sana, welcome back, welcome back. This is Why in the Morning, and when it's Tuesday, it's all matters pertaining entrepreneurship. Uh, my name is Michelle Ashira. You can follow you can follow us across all our social media handles. That is at Y254 channel at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social Ramagiko is where you can find him on his social. So in this particular session, we understand that internet is quite important. Technology is very important when it comes to just uh, building up and also mileage for any business. Clearly, we're already in the global village as we have all, all of us have interacted with inter the, the internet. In the studio, we're looking at tech innovation in business. I'm joined with Fabrice Mugabe. Fabrice Mugabe, uh, he has been here before. This is literally home at this particular time, uh, who is the co-founder of Maugra Company. Fabrice, yes. good morning. Morning, Michelle. How are you doing? Not so bad. All right, I know you're the one who was outside there. How is the weather? Is it raining, cloudy? Is Very. <laughs> Very. <laughs> So Fabrice yeah. was always, always meeting you for the first time. Um, you've been here before. We were yeah. looking at software development, I believe. Yeah. Uh, for someone who's meeting you for the first time, and uh, they would like to know who Fabrice uh, Mugabe is, uh, probably you can uh, introduce yourself. This is your time, and you can tell me if you're related to Mugabe as well. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Thanks for having me. Uh -huh. My name is Fabrice Mugabe, as you mentioned. I'm a, an innovator. Mm -hmm. and I'm a business person as well. But technically what I do, I'm into software development. Uh, software development, you mean like, I don't want to use IT terms, of course, coding, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but most of the people, they don't understand software development, software design, all that. Eh? So technically that's what they scales up the business. Mm -hmm. That's now what I do, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so let's look at uh, Maugra Company. So for how long have you been in operation? Is it a one solo man project or do you work with uh, partners? Uh, perfect. Uh, well, starting with Maugra. Maugra means my love, by the way. Aye. <laughs> my love, Maugra. Yeah. Yes. W uh, which language is that? It is Irish. Irish. My okay. slogan is love what you do. So mm -hmm. I find that most of the people, they are into something that they don't know. They don't like, they don't love. So when you ask, hey, uh, why are you doing this? For example, I'm sure if I ask you, why are you into in, in this journey? Why did you choose this? Mm -hmm. Definitely you have a to story be behind. Yeah. You know? So I decided to call my company Maugra. I didn't name it after my love, yes. But... Uh, <laughs> You have to emphasize that, okay. I had to. So you see that most of the people, <laughs> yes. when they are into something they love, you make it happen. You make it worthy. At the same time, you see, mo that's why most of people, they do work at night mm -hmm. to make their dreams come through. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started Mogra. I was into programming. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I lived it. Mm -hmm. So that's how I came up with it. If it's something that you love, mm -hmm. you do anything to protect it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing. Now coming to your question, Mogra is, uh, I have some partners. They are, we are three by four now. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't mean I'm not looking for investors. You are welcome. Oh, I am. Yeah. I'll come as an angel investor. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah. been almost approximately now four years, right? Yeah. And you guys have done, uh, you have been involved in so many projects. Uh, before yeah. even you get into that, um, I would like to understand uh, for someone who is still in the space of just understanding uh, what Maugra is all about. So, what kind of services do you provide to your potential clientele? So, first of all, we provide website applications. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, by web, website application, I mean there's web apps, there's just a normal website, every person can go outside and see mm -hmm. it. Now there is, you see that these uh, uh, web apps for the government thing, those are the back end that people does not need to know. So those also are web apps. We also do Android applications and iOS applications. We also do SEOs, that is search engine optimization. Now we are into AI, that is artificial intelligence. Yes. But on top of that, as last year, we started IoT. IoT mm -hmm. means Internet of Things. Internet of Internet things. Internet of Things. What does that entail? 
So it entails like we are taking hardware into software to make something that is meaningful. For example, uh, you might call your car. Mm -hmm. How does that happen? As long as it is connected, you can code. You call your house, hey, I need tea. Mm -hmm. And when you are at home, you find everything is ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that's the logic behind we are mm -hmm. telling, uh, we are trying to come up with it. So that the moment you want something, it needs to be done without even know your knowledge. Right. Now what to do, we just take that code, we make the, that work to make it uh, easier for you. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to make some people's work easier. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Fabrice, tell us, uh, we're looking at uh, tech, uh, tech innovation in business. What is the importance of technology when it comes to just uh, different business, be it in different industry that is on a general level? I can say nowadays without technology, I don't think we can proceed even to any, any other point. Mm -hmm. Let's take an example. Recently we had uh, this COVID. What happened is people I did not go to work, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean they didn't, uh, they stopped surviving. Many died, yes, but because of the power of technology, we used to go to work to interact with people. That's the power of technology. That's the very crucial part of it. Two, uh, it brings people closer. Trust you me, there are some people who are watching you mm -hmm. outside this country. Mm -hmm. They feel like they are with you. Mm -hmm. That's the power of technology. Now, how can we, as youth, have uh, not even as you, other business people mm -hmm. have technology uh, help us to now make money. In it. One, you need to have something meaningful for you to be able to at least come up with something that people do need. Recently, when the corona started, I made an application to run online, Mogra School. Mm -hmm. I still have some schools that are using it. Students were at their places, teachers were at their places, but they used to interact together. And the Mogra School? So yes. The, what did the Mogra School entail? Is it like a platform? Yes, it's a platform that helps students learn online, eh, wherever mm -hmm. they are. Okay. Now on top of that, they can also, uh, there is a breakout rooms. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now there is also a whiteboard. You can write, you, uh, teacher will ask you a question, mm -hmm. you write, you answer, mm -hmm. then you submit. Okay. I mean, it will be, it's just a virtual class. Oh, right. Yeah, the normal class now we are taking it to virtual. This mm -hmm. happened because of COVID. Mm -hmm. That is now the part of, sweet part of technology. Mm -hmm. Without that, we wouldn't have managed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Another key issue is for any business, they always wonder that does it provide like greater security? When it comes to people, especially business people, when get, they're getting into something they don't really understand, they walk in eggshells. So the aspect of security always pops up. Maybe you can take us through that. I can't deny we are having a cyber, uh, cyber claims. We do have them. But now how do we control it? One, as I mentioned earlier, yeah. love what you do. The moment you have what you do, you will understand the concept of it from the word go. One, uh, in IT, yes, we cannot avoid hackers. Uh, I cannot deny they are not there. But the moment you know what you are doing, it will help you to go specifically for what you want. You not go move around, uh, you are into this, you are into this, you are into this. No, that time you are vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So you want to be then to secure your data. That's why take one part, finish it, then understand it. Mm -hmm. The moment you understand it, it will be easier for you uh, to, to make it secure. Oh, you know? right. Fantastic. So, but the moment you want to do this, do this, do this, without uh, understanding of a little bit part of it, then you're vulnerable to anyone. All right. <laughs> and then we have someone who is still stagnant, who's still laid back, and they're wondering, why should I, in fact, why should I use technology in terms of incorporating it in my business? And uh, even after we have looked at the positive side of it, whether it increases our uh, 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 visibility uh, from different parts of the world. Now it's a global village. There's also collaboration. Someone can easily see you somewhere and decide that I want to work with that particular person. So what would be the other benefits of just involving tech in your business? First of all, uh, it is liable and like none. Because, like for example, if you hear some business, for, if you tell me why to fee for, the first thing I go to Google. Oh yeah. If I don't find you there, you are just like any like any other scammers. Yeah. You see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the moment we uh, we get you 
your presence online, mm -hmm. there is a 50% of chances you guys exist. Mm -hmm. So now that's, it's up to us as the people in tech to help those people who are coming up to, for, to make them visible online. Because without their presence online, you don't know them if they, it's true. So imagine going somewhere that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. The first thing you do, you go to maps, mm -hmm. you check. You find it there. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then that place do not exist. You mm -hmm. start calling people. Hey, do you know this and this? But no, I never heard of it. Mm -hmm. You see how the, uh, the next thing you say, ah, hey, cancel my meeting. I'm not coming because I cannot see you anywhere. But at the moment you are there, you are outside, you are known. That's why, that's why in some of, of uh, uh, what you do in our mm -hmm. part eh, is search engine optimization. Okay. For those who are not visible, we make them visible. For those who doesn't have a nice website, we shall make it happen. For those who doesn't have any other application that can help them track their businesses, mm -hmm. uh, know their uh, income and all that, we help them. Mm -hmm. But first of all, you need to be online. It doesn't mean... Uh, uh, you have to be on WhatsApp, no? You need to have a presence on all social media presence because that's where you go first of all to check if you, you know, you exist. Uh, and I feel mm. also it also helps in uh, building credibility for your business that people yes. can actually trust that whatever you're saying is true. If I can find that you're confident enough to have a website, yeah. confident enough to put your business out there in the market space, like anyone can see whatever you're doing. Really mm. builds that credibility, right? I have a friend of mine, eh? mm -hmm. recently, uh, he's an architect by the way, mm -hmm. recently uh, he wanted to secure a contract. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They looked for him online, they couldn't find him. And he has been on the market for long. But they said, hey, you know what? We can't see your website. What makes us believe that whatever you tell us is what you do? Mm -hmm. Show it to the world, they want to see it. They canceled their contract. Something Why? as simple as not having a, your profile, your Imagine. work eh. on the network, yes. the internet network. What are you? What are you hiding if you cannot? If you're not proud of your business, for mm -hmm. it to be known, you see. So first of all, be proud of, of yourself. Let your business get known. Then be online. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's. Let's look at. We're bringing really another very important aspect uh, regarding the, your friend architect who didn't have like the profile on the internet. Let's look at someone who is in the who is starting off in terms of their businesses. What are the? Uh, I would like. Let's go with basic. Okay. <laughs> the minimal application mm -hmm. they can go for for them mm -hmm. to be their presence to be seen and to be to be felt and also creating awareness on their brand as well. Mm -hmm. Well, now, uh, nowadays, when it comes to, from, to social media platforms, eh, there are some that are legit, mm -hmm. there are others that, you know. Nowadays, the reading one is TikTok. Mm -hmm. Create some small videos, be there, get seen. So when you're a startup, as long as you understand your business, as long as you're proud of your product, mm -hmm. start with uh, the nanny paid ones. That is Facebook, WhatsApp is okay still, but on WhatsApp, you have some lead followers. You know, you don't have a lot of friends. I need to have your contact for me to, for you to see my, my status. But on uh, like Instagram, I don't need to have your number. I just need to have your name, your profile. I follow you, you follow me. From there, you'll be able to see my product, you see? So if you're a startup, start with those small, small ones. And at what particular point should I go for a website? As soon as you have a business or as soon as you have any idea mm -hmm. of what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Because a website helps people to know what exactly, who is Michelle. Mm -hmm. For example, if I want to know who is you, mm -hmm. I'll go to Google and then I check. Mm -hmm. Maybe the first thing I will see is a bio on LinkedIn or even on Twitter, mm -hmm. you see. So the next thing, if I get your website, fine. Because uh, LinkedIn will give you just uh, like 7% uh, of the information mm -hmm. about you. But mm -hmm. the website will give all the details, the detailed information about what you do, who you are, what you intend to do, like that. Mm -hmm. So I can tell people that if you want to have a website, you can start as early as the moment you have an idea. All right. Yeah. For okay. example, you want to start selling this magazine. Mm -hmm. Tell the people about it. Have it on the, you can start a website instant mm -hmm. before even having a, a 
the business that mm. we are saying. When you say business, people think that you need to have millions of money for you to start. No. Oh yeah, there's always <laughs> that perspective. Yeah. 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 It's always start with an idea, where there is idea, money follows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the moment you have money without an idea, definitely you are failing. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Because then there is no vision, there is no blueprint on wherever you're going you sure. know, with, mm. with your business. So let's look at uh, now the aspect of innov innovation. When it comes mm. to you as a company, before we even went on there, you were speaking to me about uh, when it comes to disposing electronics uh, yeah. in, this, in this particular situation, batteries of laptop and how you just uh, change that, uh, the waste into something meaningful. Tell us more about that. Yeah, the, the, uh, I mentioned uh, we are now heading into IoT. IoT deal is uh, Internet of Things. Eh? Yes. So, uh, plus artificial intelligence, of mm -hmm, course. Mm -hmm. So, uh, recently I discovered that there are a lot of dead batteries. Okay, uh, we had a challenge where my laptop died. Eh? Mm -hmm. So, it's fine that eh, the batteries that we dump outside there had an impact on the climate. Then, why can't we ha make you good use of it? Now, we did this, uh, a certain kind of study. So find that eh, most of the companies, they do dump around 6,000 batteries a week. Mm -hmm. A small company who sells batteries. Now, what happens when you throw it away? That's the end of it. Mm -hmm. In reality, the batteries, inside the laptop battery, they have cells. Eh? They are, most of them, they are six cells. Mm -hmm. So I take them, I just measure. A normal battery laptop, a normal cell is a 3.7 volt. So that is the normal one. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now you take it, I measure, I take the normal ones, I arrange them in series and the parallels. That is using raw physics, we both know. So to provide, to produce the power that I want. Mm -hmm. So that cells, it helps me make UPSs. Mm -hmm. UPS that is an interruptible power supply. That power supply can power TV for 10 hours without power. Okay. Plus, uh, for security purposes, you see these uh, street lights. My small battery can power that lights for 24 hours without being recharged. Another advantage of that one, it's rechargeable. And you can like make a power bank out of that? Yes. It's even a power bank because you can charge phone. You can charge around four phones for, uh, let's say, three times. Okay. Yeah. So imagine, uh, now let's talk about uh, the advantages of that innovation. Eh? I think that's way more, more important. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, even here, because at my house I use it anyway, uh, when there is no power, I don't have nothing to worry about. So because I can still work, can still watch news, I can still do whatever you want with it. Now, uh, let's talk about the people in uh, rural areas. Those people, they are struggling to get power. Mm -hmm. Even if they get it, they are, it's expensive for them. Now, there are some places that do not have at all. Mm -hmm. So now that's my ta major target. We go there, give them the a small, it's small, but it's portable, very light. I give it to you, I give you a bulb. If you want, you can use your own bulb because it's just the normal bulb. Eh? Okay, so for, for, for one to use these particular uh, batteries yeah. uh, compared to what we are used to, so what is the difference and what... Uh, what value additions are you bringing on board? What's so different about yours? One, it's a recycled. Eh? Mm -hmm. Remember, I, I, I made yes, it. from the waste of a battery. Yeah, batteries, laptop eh? battery. Yes. yes. Two, it's cheap. Everyone can afford it. What is cheap, cheap to you? you whatever is cheap to you <laughs> may not be cheap to me. <laughs> true, true. Yes. So uh, what I'm saying by cheap is mm -hmm. uh, I did uh, a study and I found that uh, a normal... A uh, battery that can light up a TV for 10 hours eh, mm -hmm. goes for 70,000. Mine is 5,000 shilling. So if you do the comparison, you see it is way cheaper. A normal power bank, a normal power bank that, is, does, that does not even have a light. Mm -hmm. It goes maybe for 3,000 shilling. Mine is just 1,000 bob. That you light your bulb in rural areas for three days. At the same time, you can charge your phone. Sustainability, has it been tested and how long can it last? Uh, I'll give you a five-year warrant. Now this is the second year I'm using it. I have some clients and they have not complained yet. So, which means something that you can use. In fact, after this, you need to get one. 
ladies and gentlemen back at home i will be there seeing his innovation and then i'll come confirm if it's true and, I, and probably next time we can actually take them as well yeah. and they get to see if uh, uh how long lasting is this particular uh fabrice <laughs> what are we calling this innovation by the way eco power eco power yeah fantastic mm -hmm. fantastic so it's been in the market for how long for uh before may this will be second year this will be the second year and yeah. then you're giving a warranty of five five years, years. All right. Yeah. All right. So, so um, I'm still uh, digesting that, <laughs> and just trying to understand, like, because I feel like you, with that sort of uh, innovation, it will solve a lot of problem in the market, especially uh, Kenyans who are middle uh, middle income earners who work at wee hours at night. Uh, the issue of uh, uh, electricity shortage as well, and I feel like that will. Uh, you know, close that gap. Or what do you think? Or what has been uh, the feedback on the ground from this particular? Yeah. It's called Echo. Echo Power. Echo Power. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, the feedback is good by the the people wants they want me to produce as many as I can. But now we find most of the time because uh, I uh, I haven't thought about business model yet. They motivated me now to make it a business. Mm -hmm. So previously I was doing it to learn. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to focus it on business part of it eh? because I see people are liking it. Nowadays, there is so much shortage of power mm -hmm. and it is expensive again. But uh, in rural areas, there are some that do not even have. Their kids, do, they don't study. They want to go to school, but yet they cannot afford the electricity. How are they going, uh, how are they going to benefit the nights? You see, like, now that's we recover that gap. Mama Mboga, when it is six, she closes her shop. Mm -hmm. And by six, that's where we're going to look for our dinner. So you see, it will now cover that gap of that Mama Mboga. She won't be worried, oh, I don't have power, oh, uh, no. So they will be, she will be benefiting from that eco power. Okay. Not only Mama Mboga, the Kinyozi guys, you can connect your uh, machine. Mm -hmm. You see, not only uh, the Mamambogas and the Kinyons, no, even, so you see, when the laptop dies, eh, mm -hmm. there's that screen. When you throw it away, I take it, we make a soft light. Soft we light. make a what? Soft light. We make a soft light. Using what is the LCD. Soft light, soft light eh, you see, like these lights of this uh, studio, yes. uh, these are soft light. Mm -hmm. You see. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. now how are they made? There is not always, it's not always about the white people to bring things to Africa. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for us Africans to make our own things mm -hmm. that we are supposed to be exporting out. Mm -hmm. Now let's do them. Okay. Let's make them. So that's how we make soft light to use in a studio, to use when taking photos, to use when, you see the people, the, the brand one, you see, ah, have you ever been, uh, checked your eyes? Oh yes, I have. That's the soft light they use. Okay. Yeah, that light. Fantastic. So, yeah. and also for our viewers, if they have engaged in it on a personal level, would it be also the one that uh, photographers use as well? Yes, exactly. That's same what the photographers same, use. Same thing. Okay. Yes. Mm. All right. So, um, let's go back to uh, another product that you that you also uh, uh, one of your products and achievement, which is the more is it mog mog tube? A uh, mog tube. Yes. Take us through mog tube and what it does. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, Mogtube, I did it uh, um, two months after Corona started. Eh? Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be a YouTube Africa. Mm -hmm. Why do we have everything like coming outside? So for is anyone it? who is watching this, so this is like a YouTube, but yes, from us, Kenya, it's Mogtube. Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. does it have the same features as YouTube? Yes. All oh, right. So Actually, it does everything that YouTube does. Eh? The only difference now I wanted to make was for kids because uh, after Corona started, we knew that our kids will no longer go to study. They will need uh, something, an entertainment part of it. Now, why can't we make education entertaining? Mm -hmm. So that's how we thought about MogTube. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, come to MogTube, uh, find the, the educational video purposes for that, specific according to your course. For example, if you're a teacher, record yourself when teaching, mm -hmm. or you can even record using my platform, upload it to the MogTube, mm -hmm. and from it, let also the kids benefit, not only kids, whoever wants to learn. Mm -hmm. First, previously, 
the intention for that, I made it for only education purposes. But it has all the features that YouTube have. Fantastic. Yeah. So for anyone can access it. So how do you access it? Uh, I think that's more important just to, to get to interact with this, uh, to this application. Yeah. Well, uh, application is too is by there. There is a way part of it and Android part. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the people, I'll send them a ring to download it to their platform. Now since Corona has ended, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of transforming into something else. Mm -hmm. That maybe I will talk to you later. Uh, because people started go, going to school physically, yes. so they are no longer interested in virtual. So now it's becoming a challenge. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but That's why like, I'm thinking. But I feel like we will still we still connect. Like we still in. I don't know how to put it, but. Uh, just for the lack of another perspective, that we still uh, in touch to uh, to virtual in a way, yeah. and because we've interacted with it already firsthand, yeah. mm -hmm. then I feel like we've already gotten used to it. And there's also the aspect of I can actually we can actually you know retain this after all. Yeah. Yeah, for some time because uh, I have some school that are using it. Nol Academy, it's mm -hmm. here around here, Pangani, so they're still using it. Eh? I haven't had them requesting to terminate it or to mm. <laughs> to remove their accounts. Eh? Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming maybe it would help some people anyway. Yeah, so yeah. Is, is that mm. how more grad school came by? From was it from that particular application that you know resulted mm. to more grad school? No, uh, actually, more grad school is like came as like a mother for okay, more Because right. I wanted uh, people when they are teaching. You know, when you are teaching, eh, because mm -hmm. I had made a whiteboard eh, mm -hmm. that will be uh, people that you teach and then as the student follow. Mm -hmm. Now at the same time you can record yourself. Now the moment you record, uh, they were interlinked by the APIs that after you are done, you click end session, it will be uploaded directly to your oh, account on MogTube. So whatever if the, the student had missed the class in the morning, mm -hmm. at least he will be able to view that video on the MogTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you told us that you can easily access it. Do you need to, will you just type MogTube or do you need like an They just need MogTube. You just need .com, yeah, just like any other YouTube. Oh, okay, yeah. fantastic. All right, yeah. so as we wind up, you can take us through Smart Hospital, what it entails and what it does. Well, uh, Smart Hospitals, uh, for example, recently this, this country, Rwanda, they started uh, uh, to move uh, them using drones. Mm. That's how we thought about Smart Hospitals. Eh? Mm -hmm. Why can't we automate any, like, everything to be virtual? You know, we are talking about the use of technologies, yes. now how we're how we using technologies in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. For now, if you want to be checked by a person who is in the U.S., a doctor who is in the U.S., he will check, he prescribe you. Now, uh, how? I think the question will be how. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, that's the terminologies you don't want to outside uh, <laughs> to know, you know. Okay. But uh, it's possible via either video conferencing and it can also operate on you. We have people on the ground, now uh, she's there will be able to talk to them So the, the doctor will be on screen giving directives on how this particular surgery should be done? Yes. Okay. And, and he'll need some people on the ground also who will be operating yeah. on you. Yes, like, of course. It's just that like you are doing something but under someone's guidance. Mm. Yeah. So now on a, a smart hospital part of it eh, is that it will be interconnecting everything that is being around there. For example, if I open this as just a hospital, mm -hmm. I don't need to be checked by each and every doctor. No, I will be prescribed by a, by a machine. I told you we are heading now in IoT. Mm -hmm. uh, we are making uh, robots for that eh, who, that will be prescribing you. After that, it will be sending all the SMSs to the doctors who will operate you. Mm -hmm. For example, you're having a headache. You know, see a guy now. It's a, just a headache. Mm -hmm. After our machines has prescribed you, it will send all the SMSs to the doctor that is in charge. Uh, you, know, you know, I'm just picturing the whole scene, like, you yeah. know, a, a whole robot yes. giving prescription and just telling you, Michelle, Michelle, don't worry, it's just a headache. Yes, <laughs> don't worry, it's just a headache. In fact, you go to room uh, 254. Uh -huh. When you are in room 254, hey, uh, I find that doctor already knows you are there and what's your problem. Mm -hmm. you see, it becomes easier mm -hmm. for you to be treated and saves time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And of course, as well as resources, you know. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Fabrice, for anyone who would like to reach out to you, work with you, 
and they're just interested to understand more about tech innovation in business. How can they reach out to you? Yes, uh, thank you very much. On Instagram, it's uh, Mogra East Africa, Twitter, Mogra East Africa, uh, and uh, YouTube as well. But uh, you know, most of us tech guys, eh? for YouTube, we'd lack people who will be shooting us unless you support, you know. But anyway, we mm -hmm. are all over on the social medias. You can reach out. Me personally, it's Fabrice Mugabe. Mm -hmm. Company is Mogra East Africa Limited. All right. Thank yeah. you very much, Fabrice, for creating time to be with us today. Thank you very I much. am looking forward to next time. Yeah, we'll be taking our viewers along just to see about all the innovations that you're up to and what you're doing as well. Yeah. Oh, right. Please do. There's okay. something that is coming up I will share with you next time when you meet. Okay. I hope it won't take a near. <laughs> I hope so as well. It won't, I promise. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> thank you very much, Fabrice. Yeah, thank you very much. So that is from, uh, Fabrice uh, Mugabe, who is the founder of Maugra. Yes? Pronounced it well? Maugra uh, <laughs> Company. Uh, we were looking at technology uh, innovation actually in business and just going around a couple of innovations for Mogra. So uh, at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashura is where you can find me across all my social. We'll be coming back with Rama Google to wrap this up. So make sure you stay tuned for that.